Hi there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures. Welcome back, and um, I'm back. I'm back from my holidays, making my first video for a couple of weeks now. And um, yeah, it's really, it's good to be home, but we had a really great week away in Marrakesh. And as you can probably tell, I don't know if you can hear from my voice, but almost as soon as I got home, I went down with a cold. <laughs> um, Richard got it first, he got it while we were out there for the last couple of days. Um, and then, um, so I was fine for the whole holiday. And then the day after we got home, yeah, it started coming out in my, in me as well. So, um, I've, I've had a couple of days when I haven't been able to do very much. I was planning to do a vid couple of more videos, um, start a bit earlier than I have, but I was too busy coughing and sneezing <laughs> to do anything. So although it's still a bit bunged up, I feel a lot better. So I thought I can, I'll come in and, uh, and get Roxy's weekly challenge done. This is this is week five, so this is the week that was out the, when I was away. I thought I'd do that one. I'll probably then skip a week because um, the one that, that she's recently posted, I don't feel the need to do because it's just not my thing. Um, just now and again, that happens when she she does a challenge that I think, well, I don't really think I need to make that one. I just it just doesn't work for me, um, and I've done that before. But I do love this one, and I think it is something you could be making, you know, tons of. You could do a real mess make on this, which is making little pockets, or like a library pocket, out of envelopes, but using the um, the back or the front. You can use either, whichever hasn't got a window. If there's a window envelope, use the back. This one is actually the set, one envelope that I've just cut in half, so I'm going to use both halves. So this was the back, and that's the front. And I've got this one. Um, I also have loads of these bigger envelopes. We get a lot of, I get a lot of these because these are the envelopes that the NHS use and I'm always getting letters from the NHS. Um, so I cut the front off because that has got a window and I thought, well, I'll just cut this down to size. Um, it's a perfectly good piece of, piece of envelope. Um, same sort of, sort of, it's just the same paper, it's just a bit bigger. I don't need a, a pocket this wide, but I can certainly make it as wide as this. So I'll cut that one down when I get to it. And I will tell you about my holiday as I go along. I don't want to bore you with telling you too much. We had a really good time. It was a bit of a culture shock at the beginning. <laughs> but, um, yeah, after after a couple of days, we kind of found our groove. And because um, there's a lot of walking involved, and I'm not really great at walking day after day after day. Um, so the first day, I, we did a lot of walking. And then the second day, I had to rest because I just couldn't do it. And then we, we figured out how to kind of do a bit of bit in the morning, then have a rest and then have, go out again in the evening. And the place we were staying, it was a, it's called a Riyadh, which is like a, I suppose we might call it like a um, boutique hotel. They're like a sort of guest housey type of thing, but they're not <laughs> certainly quite, quite a smart guest house, I have to say. Um, I've got a little picture here to show you of where we had our breakfast every day. They didn't do evening meals, but they did do breakfast, and it's just... Oh, hang on, that, that's not the best one. If you can see that one, it's everything's built around a courtyard, so there was actually a little pool here, um, a seating area, and then there were just some little tables. There's only four tables. It's a very small place, six rooms. All the rooms were up here um, looking down on the courtyard, which is why I was on my way down. Um, my husband was having a coffee. We were having his coffee poured, and uh, so I just took a picture looking along from the landing up above so we all our rooms were up up with over with this sort of uh, banister I think our room is right there actually um so I, feel, I hope you can see that let me just see through the camera see if you see if you're seeing it so yeah it was a, it was a beautiful place and the staff was so friendly so helpful and it had an absolutely beautiful rooftop terrace it was right around the roof and there was seating and there were tables and some beds and it was a fabulous place just to go and chill out um, and either soak up the sun or stay in the shade. There were options for both and we went up there nearly every day and nobody else knew it was, well, nobody else used it or hardly anybody. We saw a couple of people up there once thought, oh, they've invaded our space because we were just spending so much time up there. And, you know, we said we went to relax and soak up the sun and feel comfortable. So we did spend quite a lot of time up there with our feet up, reading our books and just having a lovely time. So, yeah, that was that was great. Um, I'll, I'll start the challenge because otherwise we'll be, I'll be talking about this all day. Once I get started, I'll be telling you all sorts of things. So um, I will kind of tell you bits as I go along. Um, 
But I want to get started on this challenge, otherwise this video will, will be ridiculously long and I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, so I start coughing. So, what we're going to do to start with, I'm going to fold up the sides of these envelopes, just a little, just a little bit. Just a little bit, to, so they're going to get tucked around the back. Try and fold straight, that's never, never very easy, but then Rachel always says it the same herself, that she never folds straight. So I thought, well, if she doesn't fold straight, then I don't feel too bad about my terrible folding either. Ooh, okay, that's one. We'll do this a sort of mass make style, I suppose. You do it one step at a time. She, she often does them like that, so it works quite well. Yeah, so one of the one of the first things I did when we got to um, I think it must have been on the Friday. So we arrived on Tuesday, late on Tuesday, so Tuesday evening. So we did do a lot of exploring on Wednesday on our feet. And as I said, it, I was really tired by the end of the day because we'd done so much walking around. So Thursday, we had, I, well, I certainly had a much more relaxing day, mostly up on that roof terrace I was telling you about. And uh, Richard did a bit more exploring. God found his, he likes to get his bearings. He's a much better walker than I am. And then Friday we went to the, um, it was time to go and try and discover the souks. I don't know if you've heard of the souks of Marrakesh, but they're the, they're like an, it's like an undercover market. I think it's mainly aimed at tourists these days. But there's all sorts of market stalls. They sell carpets and cushions and all sorts of knickknacks and souvenirs and dresses, beautiful dresses. We bought Alyssa, most beautiful, she, beautiful dress, like a mini version of the, like a caftan thing with a bit of um, decoration, like gold decoration around. I really need to get a picture of it in that dress. I didn't, didn't manage to do that, but um, we gave that to her on Wednesday when we got back and she absolutely loves it. I mean, she really said, oh, I love it, I love it. She's <laughs> so we thought, oh, well, that was, that was good. We did that right. Now it's just, now I've got to allow for the folding. You should have cut this first, shouldn't I? Let's just mark this so I can cut it to size. Now, where's my pencil? I think she's, I think she's had it. <laughs> did have a pencil. Never mind, I'll have a, whoops. Come on. Okay, this pen will do. Just mark it to size. Yeah, about there will do. Okay. Yeah, so they sell all sorts of things, and um, I did make some purchases, which I'll probably show you in my next video. Not a lot, didn't buy a huge amount, but some things, a few little bits I can use in my in my journals, I think. Yep, that's too fine. All right, let's hold this one in. Yeah, so it's so these souks. I mean, it's all it's all like a big undercover market, and it is an absolute warren. And I mean, we went there about three times to visit these souks, and I think every time we saw different things, or we were in a different part of it, and we got lost every time. It's just a maze, an absolute maze. And of course, there's so many similar things. You think, oh, we've we been here before. Well, maybe we have, maybe we haven't. And um, oh. <laughs> that's all right. My phone, just a a message from a daughter. Um, yeah, what was I saying? So yes, yeah, so we're in, so in our first visit. <laughs> now be quiet. That's enough. All right, turning the sound off. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yes. Yeah, so when on our first visit, it, sort of some there, there was a little. In the middle of it, there was like an open market area that we kind of felt came across. Right, so I folded these in. Now we're just going to fold all the fold the, fold them all up and into a pocket. Okay, like so. Fold these all up, and. Um, 
you know, I decided, well, we, we <laughs> I was approached, oh no, they, they, a lady called out as I was walking past, you know, did I want a henna tattoo? She was just sort of waving a picture at me and shouting a completely irrelevant price, which turned out to be completely <laughs> not what we thought. Anyway, so I, I walked away. So I don't want a henna tattoo, or do I? And then I thought, well, actually, <laughs> that'd be a bit of fun. Why not? And Richard encouraged me. He said, yeah, go and do it if you fancy doing that. So I thought, well, so I went back and I said, yeah, all right, I'll, go, I'll do it. So she took me off to her friend, who was the actual tattooist. And when I say tattoo, it's not, a I mean, a henna tattoo is just ink on your hand. And it's not, um, well, as you can see, it's completely faded, gone. Didn't last the two weeks that I was promised. But it looked fabulous at the time. And I have got a picture, um, fortunately. Hang on, I need to just glue this bit down. Um, luckily, I got Richard to take a picture of it when it was freshly done. So you can get some idea of how it looked. Um, so that was a bit of fun. And it, quite an expensive bit of fun, as it turned out. But, you know, we're on holiday, you kind of go with the flow a little bit. And I suppose it was a bit of a scam, but it was a bit of fun. I quite enjoyed it. I quite enjoyed the... You know how it looked for the few days that it lasted. Yes, I was a bit disappointed it didn't even last till I really it pretty much gone by the time I got home, which is so I couldn't show anybody how it actually looked when I got home, which is a shame. But I do have a picture, so that was that was uh, at least something I can use to remember it by. Okay. Right, so we cut off these bits. And cut along the fold, inside the fold, so that it just tucks inside the, the wraparound pieces. Let's just check, check I've cut it enough to wrap around because I know I made a little prototype just to make sure I knew how to do it and um, yeah I had to keep trimming off the side bits because it was just I wasn't wrapping around properly. So I'll just check that as I go along, I think. So I think we, we've visited the, the souks, and the souks are just right next to the, what they call the big square, or it's called um, Jamal Fanar Square. It's the famous square in the middle of Marrakesh, or apparently it's famous. I'd, of course, I've never heard of it until we went there. Um, but we went there one evening because, you know, one of the things that uh, is recommended is that you go to this place at night. So we went a couple of times during the day and then we went one evening as well. And by this time we, tr we discovered that the, the best way to get around anywhere, you could walk all the time to everything. Um, certainly it was walking distance for most people. But then our lovely Riyadh told us about the tuk-tuks. These are these little vehicles that, um, it's basically a motorbike with a kind of carriage built around it with a couple of seats and a roof. Um, you see similar things, I think, in um, Asian countries, but they're usually just on a bike. But these were on motorbikes, so they were a bit more, had a bit more power. But they were quite fun, a bit, bit bumpy to ride in, but really good for getting around for somebody who's not very good at walking. And they go around all the little back streets and things, and it was yeah fun to do. So, and you could always so we tended to do that. We'd get either a tuk tuk or a cab. You could also get taxis quite easily to the big square, and then pick up a tuk tuk to take us back home again. Because um, there'd always be loads of them knocking around, looking for 
customers. So yes, yeah, so we went in, in this one evening, and in the evening is when they set up all the f street um, food stalls. You know, they're, they're just like food restaurants um, out in the open. It's all open air, open air cooking. There's smoke everywhere, noise everywhere, and it's all done on little benches. And you just sit on a bench, you squeeze onto benches, and they and you order your food. And it was really great. I mean, it's as again, it's one of those things you should experience as the street food in Marrakesh. And we had been a bit safe in that we've been going mostly to well completely to cafes to eat not buying off the food stalls around um you know, just because i suppose we're just a little bit cautious of what we're of what we're eating but um this was somewhere that that was everybody says you should try and um and there's loads and loads of these street you know these uh, i suppose I don't know what you call them really, little outdoor street cafes, but in rows and rows and rows, all together in one big big section, and you could just walk along and and they try and bring you in and they say, you know, um and I suppose the food the food is all quite similar. No, let's see, this one wasn't very lined up, I'm not sure. I think maybe I just haven't folded it straight. That might be a bit better. Yeah, so we went to this, um, we decided on this particular stall and we, we sat down, you know, and, and literally you're sitting on this really narrow bench I, and we were just sitting opposite each other and then they just bring piles and piles of food. It's just amazing and it was really good. And it was all just cooked right in front of us, um, very smoky, and but, but it was all really, really tasty and thoroughly enjoyed. It was just an experience, really. I was glad we did that. And the souks are all open at night as well, so then we had a little... We also went into the souks as well. Right, now... So, enough talk about Marrakesh for a minute while I was doing all that boring stuff. Now we need to start doing a bit of decorating. So I have got my box of scraps here. This is my what I call my sc smaller scraps, and I've got a... A few bigger scraps as well, but I thought I'll try and use up as much of these as I can because these are only small areas to to cover. And um, let's see what we can find. See if we can just find. I don't want to go do too much actual collaging, really, because they're, they're quite small pieces. Just trying to find. It's a nice piece, a bit of William Morris. Oh, sorry, I did have to just break off there for a bit of a cough. I have got a bit of cough left from my cold. It's not too bad at the moment. Um, right, I'm going to just use my little ruler. I think to just trim this down a bit. And I might use it that way around. No, is that straight? It's hard to tell. This is. It's either this isn't straight or the envelope isn't straight, which is probably more likely the way I've cut it. So I might just glue it on and then trim it off. I think that might be the easiest thing. I've been quite looking forward to doing this challenge because I thought, you know, it's always. I do like to end up with a, a few useful usable um, things, pockets and, and tags and things. I can just put in my stash and bring them out. And as, you, as you've seen with um, in my Lace and Ladies journal, if you've been watching that, in fact, I've been getting some lovely comments about that journal, so I do, do appreciate all your comments when you tell me you're enjoying a, a project. It really... Because I've been enjoying that a lot. It, I mean, I think I've got a bit carried away with it, to be honest. I can't remember if you've seen how fat it is. Because it's it's just so up my street, all that prettiness. I love doing all that. So the journal has actually got a bit out of hand. I'm having to. I'm going to have to round it in a little bit. Because it's just <laughs> it's got to the point where I don't think I'll be able to lift it soon. But I have enjoyed doing it. And, um, and I very much appreciate the fact that many of you seem to be enjoying it as well. And um, 
and I have used quite a lot of my Roxy's Weekly Challenge pieces in that journal and it's really nice to be able to do that to kind of do all these things with her part of the challenge and um, actually then find that they they work so well in so many of my projects okay there's that I'll go like that yeah that's all good that's one okay next one what have we got Oh, this nice piece of lacy paper. I think I used that. Some of these I've got some left over from the last challenge we did. I think Rachel did the same, that she she used some of her leftover pieces from that challenge to decorate this challenge, and it makes sense because we had some pieces left over that are just perfect for this. Just got a bit here that was folded. I'm just going to trim that off because it's a bit it's sort of tucking itself under. Okay, yeah, I think so. Okay, so I'll just do that. So there we, we have we have seen Alyssa a couple of times since we've been back because we, we did our usual school pickup during the week and then yesterday which which was Saturday, we had her for the day because her mum and dad went off to buy their or to choose and order their wedding rings. So they went up to London for the, well not for the whole day, but for quite a bit of the day. Go and choose their wedding rings, which was very exciting. So we had her for the day, which was, it was lovely. We had lots of fun with her, as we always do. And um, we did a bit of, spent a bit of time in the craft room, but spent an awful lot of time playing hide and seek. She loves playing hide and seek. It's one of those things she really enjoys doing. Um, so that was nice. And um, and then we took her home and we all went out for a lovely meal in the evening and they treated us just as a little thank you, which was very kind and they didn't need to do, but they wanted to, so. Who were we to say no? <laughs> that was lovely. And it was nice just to spend some time with them as well because we spent such a lot of time just dropping Alyssa off and then, you know, and after school. But we don't very often get time to sit down and talk to Jenny and Gary very much, so it was nice to just sit and catch up with them for a bit. Oh, I'm wondering about this piece. That's a pretty piece. I don't know if I want these eyes just to be... Well, I'm hoping that they won't actually be part of it. Will they show? That's the question. I like the design around, but I'm not sure that that would look sit still. Mm, I might be just about to get away with that, actually. Yes, I think I will. Right. Okay, let's just check. No, you can't really see that. <laughs> that that's a person's face. At least I hope you can't. A blob of glue on, my, on there. Okay. Oh, that's not too straight, is it? Uh, no, don't like that. Oh, is it gonna? It's gonna pull up some of the picture, but never mind. We'll go with it as long as it doesn't tear. Uh, not too much, anyway. Right. What we. Right, let's give this another try. Okay. Is that gonna go? Let's come over a little bit. Okay, we'll try that. Might just have to trim it a little bit somewhere. Up the edge of this and 
another look. It's clearly not been cut very straight. Don't know who could have done that. I just hear a little voice in my head going, it was you, Nana. <laughs> yeah, I know. You don't get away with anything with that one. for this. Yeah, I wonder if that would work. That one or this one. That might work actually. I was thinking of putting these two together perhaps. This is some of my jelly printed paper. Is that going to be... Because I thought this would make a nice little autumn one, wouldn't it? Is it big enough? That's the question. To go on the top. No, not really. I'll use the other one. I oh, hope I'll be able to put a bit of that on the bottom instead. straightened up the top there so I'll just trim it a touch and that's that one right not going to glue them down yet we've decorated the, the pocket part. So, got this piece out again. Maybe I'll just do it, yeah. Maybe I'll just tear this off a little bit. I lose all the white bits. I think a little bit of book page behind there would be good. Let's have a bit of this. That'd be enough. Have I torn it off too low now? Yes, I may well have done. Oh. It's annoying. Should have turned off. Should have. Shouldn't have torn off so much. I don't want it to be over complicated by having to add some more to it. How about this piece? Okay, let's go with that. That's a bit of the French. a huge amount but half. I'll have half. And and I'll turn this over at the top a little bit as well. So let's fold that up there. Okay. Right. Oh, 
Which side do I like better? Is that side or that side? Actually, I like that side better. Yep, okay. So that one is, well, it's ready to decorate anyway. If uh, I won't decorate them all, um, I may only decorate one. Um, right now, I need some more paper to coordinate with this, don't I? Uh -huh. Let's see, what can we have? That go. Oh, hang on. Uh, have some that I thought I might go. What have we got here? Oop, 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 oop. Mm. Would that go? Might do. I don't know if it's big enough. Mm. Nope, not quite big enough. I like it though, let's see. These off. Now can I either do it? Oh, it's a bit too. No, it doesn't quite work. Why don't you look at it again? This one? No. Something like this. This might work. I think it comes from the same kit, that's probably why it works. Okay. Upside down? It's hard to tell. No. Right, this needs to be straight. That's not right. Now, is that going to fit? No, it's not going to fit. I don't want odd bits sticking out. Okay. More challenging than I thought to find an, a coordinating piece for this. No, don't like that. Let's see. Mm, that's probably not tall enough, or is it? Let's see. Maybe it is. Yeah, that might work. Yeah, that's all good. Right. Okay, let's tear it off at the right width. About there. I just need to straighten off. Maybe I'll use the scissors. It might be a bit safer. Straighten off the bottom. How do you look there? Yeah, I think that will work. And I can just tuck a little bit around the top to keep it a little stronger. Gosh, this paper is just so fragile. Ooh. No, I don't like that so much. I like the, the paler side. Oops. Let's just get this on. it over. Okay, 
Okay, there's that one. And then we have the lacy one. Do I have something pink and pretty to put on there? I think I do. Okay, that side or that side? No, that side. I might have to add a little something extra at the top, I think. It's not quite tall enough, but it is wide enough, so that's good. Straight at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I've got to cut off these little jaggedy bits at the side because that doesn't quite work on that edge. Okay. And I need a little something behind there. What can we have? Oh, I've got a bigger piece. Is that taller? Is that going to fit better <laughs> after all that? Mm, maybe. No, not really. <clears throat> Find a piece of that. Actually, that fits better, but it's not got enough colour, so... I will tear a piece of that off and we'll do that at the top and wrap it around and reinforce it. <coughs> Oops. And then the other piece. You hardly see any of the that um, other piece, but it just fills that in. And that's fine. Okay, so that one. And then this one. I mean, I love the blue, but matching it with something could be tricky. Ooh, that. Maybe down at the bottom. Ooh, that might work. That's rather nice, isn't it? A piece of that. No, I think maybe we'll go back to the book page idea. Top, top or bottom? Book page at the bottom. That fly up there. Might take a bit more. Of, oh no, that could go wrap around, couldn't it, a little bit? Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to sneeze now. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the cold has not gone. It has just abated us a bit. 
enough to me to be more or less coherent. Maybe not as coherent as I'd like. Oh, just a little bit trim off the side there. I don't really want to wrap these bits around the sides. Okay. Right, we can pop that piece on. Some more of Rachel's lovely Italian papers. I've just, um, <laughs> while I was on holiday, I mean, one of the great things about this, well, wherever we stuck, we were in Morocco, but mainly in the in the Riyadh, the Wi-Fi was amazing. I was quite quite surprised, I have to say, that we had such good Wi-Fi. So I was able to watch my YouTube videos, and I even managed to place <laughs> a couple of days before we came home, place an order for some of Rachel's papers, some of her really old papers. And it arrived in, I think I ordered it on Monday in Morocco, and it arrived in England on Friday. I was, I was so impressed with how quickly that came. It was pretty, pretty impressive. I might just trim a little bit more of this off, just so we should see a little bit more of the book page. Not too much. I did. It was so nice to still be able to watch videos and, and obviously still able to respond to all your lovely comments as well while I was over there. I was getting all my messages. That's that's it. Yep, there. So I don't think this one need much decorating. Maybe a label. But with that lovely butterfly, that is, I think that's an Artie Mays kit that I had. I can't remember whether that was the, that might have been the spring kit that I did last year. Spring journal, I think this is from. Ooh, it's only just wide enough. Ooh, right, okay. I just have to ink it, ink it up enough to cover it. No, it's not quite enough. Come down a bit. I'll have to do. I don't think I have. Uh, I don't think I'll have to fold over the butterfly though. Oops. So now we need to do our little thumb notch and glue down the flaps. Where's my... So I should be able to hopefully just do that in the middle of where the butterfly is. The butterfly is not quite central, but yeah, we got away with that. And then I'll, I'll glue it down. Oh, and I meant to ink the pocket, didn't I? Got it there handy, and then I still forgot to do it before I glued it shut. That's silly. See if I can just get a little bit of ink along there. I like to just distress the edge of the pocket. Make it nice and visible. And around the edge of the the outside covers up all manner of bits like where I've not, where it doesn't quite reach to the edge and stuff. I don't think it's too bad. But covers up any white bits. We don't want to see white bits where there's not meant to be white bits. Okay, I'm gonna do something with those edges. Round them or I quite like I think a lot of us have got into this clipping of the edges rather of the corners rather than rounding. I do, I mean I usually do round most things, but sometimes with Rachel's things it feels more appropriate to clip because that's what she does. And they lend these kind of things lend themselves to that, don't they? You could almost could go completely um 
mud and make them into a proper tag shape if you wanted to, I think. Yeah, that just gives it a finishing touch. I don't, I'll come back and I might add a label to that, but it won't need much, that one. Now this one, I'm going to clip the middle. I'll try and be a bit more central with this one. Oh dear, glued the wrong side of the flap. I was right the first time. I don't know what's the matter with me. Well, I do. <laughs> I'm not really fully functional brain-wise, I don't think, at the moment. Mind you, that could be said most days, really. And I did have a much better night's sleep last night than I had the previous couple of nights, so... That can't really be an excuse for my incompetence. See if I can get some more of that glue off there. Anyway, that should be okay, I think. Right, a bit more inking. Just a round and about. Right, so I'm going to round the corner on this one because I think it, it seems more appropriate on this one for some reason. In my head. The, no, that's not big enough. I'm going to do it on the next size, I think. Let's see. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> That's that one. Where did I put my butterfly one? Oh, there it is. Okay. And this one. So I need to do the Seems to have not folded over quite enough, that one. Okay, try that. That's a bit better. I think I've got this little bit of paper sticking out here. Doesn't look right. I think the folding is is a bit. I think it's a bit thick there on the on the envelope. So I'm just going to trim it. I think. I think that'll be okay. I'm hoping the pocket is still sealed. No, not quite. <laughs> but it just doesn't look right. So I'm just going to use this to seal it up. gluing on the inside. Yeah, I think that flap had a a thick thit, a thick bit on the inside of it and from the envelope and it just wasn't wasn't looking straight. And then the other one doesn't look much better but just need to trim off a bit of this paper, I think. Maybe that'll look better. Okay. Amazing, you can hide a multitude of sins with a bit of inking, aren't you? And this one I will clip the corners.
So I don't think they all need a lot much decorating. This one I don't think needs much, and I might decorate that when I come to use it, but I'm going to leave that as it is for now. And I think this one again, I don't know where it's going to get used, so I might leave that and decorate as I come to it. This one I think it's going to have to go in my ballet journal. Um, so I've got some some of the ballet pieces, some of the um, ephemera pieces. This is the Tracy Fox um, kit that I'm using called Dancing on Lace. So, I mean, I don't know when I'm going to start doing this. I'm just it's going to be coming up at some point. Can't quite figure it out. Let me just cut around this little oval. I don't want to tear around it because I think I'll end up messing it up. I think it might be too big. I don't know. Mm. I do think she's beautiful, but I think maybe what I need to do is actually fuss, not tear but do a little bit of kiss cutting around her, not completely, leaving, oh not those scissors, they're my new ones and they're very stiff. Now she's really lovely, but now she needs something behind her, of course. Mm. Lace, have to be lace, won't it? Okay, so I've got this lovely piece of lace with the butterflies on. I think she would be okay on there. As long as I've inked her up, she'll show up okay. Right, how about that? I think she's okay. I think she's alright on there. It's, it's, I know it's quite she's a little bit blending into the background, but it is quite delicate. So I think this is what I'm going to do.
she will need a label, but I'm I'm thinking I might try and come up with a few um, dance and ballet type phrases or something that I can add to some of these. So I won't add that right now. That's that one. And then the last one is the butterfly one where I think I might just pull out a label. Tracy Fox label would be probably most appropriate if we can find one. Got any? Yeah, oh, little blank ones. What about? Have I brought up, pulled out the wrong one? Yeah, this isn't the right one, is it? No, 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 they're blank ones. What's that one? These are more my the things that we're looking for. Something like this. Yeah, that's that's fine. I can use that. Has it got some of these are on label paper? Now, well, after a bit of fiddling, yep, managed to get that backing off. And I'm gonna pop that right there. Okay. Pop those there. And that's that one. So let's have a quick look. I hope I haven't overrun too much. Going on and on about the trip. I won't overdo it. I'll try not to overdo it. It was good. It was a good week and we haven't had <laughs> we haven't had a week away for so long. So I've got that one. Let's move some of these things out of the way. One and these two that will get decorated in due course. I think they look nice. So I'm happy with those. So thank you for joining me today. I hope this was uh, fun for you. I enjoyed myself and it's really good to be back. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>